And now to the story dominating headlines here and across the country. The ongoing protests in downtown Portland. Last night, we saw one of the largest crowds that we've seen in a while gathered outside the federal courthouse. Again, federal officers fired tear gas after demonstrators shot off fireworks. One person was also stabbed downtown near Southwest 3rd and Salmon. Police say, Portland police say that they have made an arrest, but we don't have an update on that person's condition. Now, Portland is bracing for another night of protests. KGW's Art Edwards joins us live downtown. Art. Brittany, people are already starting to gather downtown right across the street from the federal courthouse. You can see them down there. Not a very large crowd at this point, but they are gathering down there and we hear some music from them. A little bit earlier today, the assistant U.S. attorney uh, for the Oregon District, Craig Gabriel, and also a spokesperson for the Department of Homeland Security, talked a little bit about what's been going on here in Portland. They gave sort of an update of what's been happening uh, over the last few days in Oregon or here in Portland. They say that uh, 60 people have been arrested or detained since early July here in Portland. They said that uh, um, there have also been a number of federal officers who have been injured uh, during the protests as well. Now, Mr. Gabriel said uh, when he was giving his remarks that uh, they are okay with the idea that people are protesting, but they say that uh, what they don't want is for people to begin to damage property. He said they condemn the ongoing violence against police officers and against federal property. He went on to say that if the protesters don't try to damage or destroy the fence that is surrounding the federal courthouse right now, that officers will have no need to go outside the fence or to leave the federal property. That is something that's been happening on a nightly basis lately when uh, late in the evening, the uh, federal officers end up going outside the fence and trying to disperse the crowd. Uh, generally, what they've done is declared it a riot at that point. So back out here live, there are some people who are gathering out here already uh, at this hour. We expect that there's going to be another large crowd outside of the federal building, and uh, we will be watching to see what happens again this evening here in Portland. Back to you. Art, thank you.